Hey, what's going on, guys? The Rico Swing here today on behalf of the Swing Agency. Sandra Swing here today on behalf of the Swing Agency. Yes, yes. And today we are going to be talking to you guys about brand strategy. Yeah, so if you tuned into that first module, you learned about your brand identity already. Next on the topic list, your brand strategy. Just as important as that identity. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we do stay in sync. For sure. Stay in sync. So the first thing on your brand strategy is your goals and objectives. Without your goals, you're not going to know what, you, what you're operating for, basically. You know, when you first operate, say if you don't have goals, you start making money, you're not going to know if you're being successful or not. You know? How much money do you want to make? You don't know because you didn't create the goal. <laughs> you know, so you're just operating month to month, year to year, and you don't have nothing to compare it to. So I always recommend clients start with some type of revenue goal. You know, do you want to be a multi-million dollar company? Do you want to be a $500,000 company? What is your revenue goal for your first 12 months? That could be a great goal to start with. Um, I always suggest a community goal. Do you want to partner with nonprofit organizations? Do you want to create your own nonprofit division? You know, just kind of take yourself through that mindset set to figure out why am I starting this business and why am I offering these products and services and create some measurable goals from there. Once you identify what those goals are, what's going to happen is you should be able to take each goal and create attainable metrics, meaning you will be able to evaluate yourself every quarter or monthly. You know, some clients do it weekly. But the point is, once you have the goal, chop it up into smaller sections to say, OK, within the first three months, I need to at least be this far within that goal. If you are not, by the time you evaluate that, you're not on track. You need to take a step back, review those goals, and kind of see what's changeable within your plan, basically. So yeah, goals. Um, I remember when we first started our company and we sat down and we talked about basically why we're starting this business. Mm -hmm. You know, Even before we create that mission statement, we, what were our goals? So what do you remember that first conversation that we had? So one thing that I remember vividly is the color scheme. Like I knew we wanted green. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as like logo wise and all of that, we didn't really know, you know, what we wanted to look like. Right. That was our first goal to kind of get the green out there mm -hmm. and then right. build upon that. Right. So, you know, having the idea of green, you know, we started developing like different concepts of logos. Um, once we developed the logo that, that kind of sat right with us. We jumped out there and then started developing all the other creative assets. Right. Now, I could just be speaking from what I was doing, mm -hmm. but you know, of course, we're a team. So, right. What do you think? Definitely on the right track. So, with our goals, we did start with the brand identity because we wanted to make sure that color scheme that we chose matched us, matched our purpose and our vision. So that's why we chose that green. You know, so that was one of our goals internally was to figure out what the color scheme for our brand identity. Another one was we we knew we were going into business to help small businesses. Yeah. You know, so we didn't talk quantity. We didn't say we wanted to help a specific number, not just yet. But our goal was to just get out there, identify identify where that need was on the market and just hit the ground running, basically. You know, so our goal, we, we pretty much knocked that one out the park and what we have left, we just, like I said before, we've created those metrics and we're just knocking out those quarterly valuations Definitely. to keep us on track. Another goal may be your team building goal. You may not start um, with a whole team, it may just be you, but you may want to eventually hire a whole team of creators or a whole team of professionals. So that can be a goal. Um, another goal may be, of course, other than your revenue and your team building goal, where do you want to see yourself within the next three to five years? You know, your three to five year projections is just as important as startup because you don't want to start and continue operating the same first three years. And then between year four and five, you're still doing the same thing. You have to think about growth goals. Now that you're starting your business and you're going to reach that revenue goal, what's next? Do you want to franchise? Do you want to create smaller um, divisions? Do you want satellite offices? You know, you have to think about that. Do you want to incorporate new products and services? So there's a lot of things that's wrapped up in that, those startup goals. You know, you have to start start up and then just expand from there. Right. I know one of my first initial goals besides coming up with the color scheme was how to get clients, how to get us attractive enough uh, on paper, you know, to make people want to buy into our products and services. Right. So, you know, that had to be a whole thought process that I, that I laid out in my mind, but then I took that to paper, you get what I'm saying? Or uh -huh. digital, if you will. You right. Know? And so, you know, you just start creating assets and as you develop, you come up with more ideas and as you come up with more ideas, you come up with more ways to, you know, promote yourself and get yourself out there because eventually you want to build up 
to lunch day. So when you officially lunch, um, you know, you are at a point to where you can at least maintain right. for a certain amount of time. And then you just build upon that. And if you a hustler, go getter like myself, you're gonna, you know, build upon that. You're gonna figure out ways to market yourself and how to differentiate yourself from other people in your same industry. Okay, guys, so yes, so it's building your brand strategy. You want to make sure you beat yourself across the head with those goals. Make sure that it is in line with why you're starting your company and why you're offering those products and services. And think of some quantitative goals, meaning put some number to some of those things. You know, don't just keep it basic. You know, I want to be successful. I want to have a successful team. No, how much money do you want to make within the first 12 months? How often or how soon do you want to break even? You know, not all companies break even within that first year. So when do you project you're gonna break even? That's important as well. So just take yourself through that mindset to figure out what my goals are gonna be. How can I put some metrics to that and just hit the ground running from there? Most definitely. Yes, sir.